Hey YouTube, MaxZ2021 here coming at you with an updated manga collection video. Last time I did this, did a collection video, was in December 2016, and it's been a year, so I figured I should do an update video. Last time I had about 531, 532 volumes. This time around, I'm up to 649 volumes, give or take. For anyone that didn't watch the previous collection video, I've been, I mean, I mentioned this in that video, but I've been buying manga since 2008, back when I was in high school, and then in 2010, around when I started my first semester of college, that's when I started seriously collecting manga. And that's most of what I've been buying the last seven years. But uh, enough about that. That's uh, it's not uh, too important. So I'm just going to get to the stuff. Uh, first up, this bookcase. Uh, pretty much anything that I'm actively buying or stuff that I want to focus on. First, I put over on this bookcase, so, yeah, that's all you really need to know about, <coughs> that's all you really need to know about this bookcase, so, um, let's get to it, come on, fuck, okay, there we go, first up, volumes 1 and 2 of a certain magical index, volumes 1, through 17 and then 18 of Assassination Classroom. Volumes 1 through 3 of Black Clover. Uh, I apologize about the glare. I gotta keep the uh, flash from my phone on. Otherwise, due to the poor lighting in my room, the video would come out really dim and I don't want that. Anyways, Volume 1 of Dorabara. Volume 1 of Fire Force. The first on the bus for freezing volume, so it's volumes one and two, volumes one through five of high cube. Uh, let me move these real quick. Volumes one through seven, ten, twelve, thirteen, twenty nine, thirty three of Hunter Hunter. Volumes one through five, and then six of Karakara Doji Ultimo. Volume one of Kenny Row Mosaic. Volume. Wait, no, not the, uh, the uh, light novel volume for Kizumonogatari, and the first light novel volume for Bakemonogatari. Moving on to the next shelf. I'll move this. Next up, we got Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, volumes one through four, or the first two on <coughs> first two, first two omnibus volumes. Magi, Volumes 1 through 7. Magical Girl Apocalypse, Volumes 1 through 12. And then the spinoff series, Magical Girl Site, Volumes 1 through 3. Uh, behind this, Mayo Chiki Omnibus Collection, Volumes 1 through 3. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Volumes 1 and 2. My Hero Academia, Volumes 1 through 10. Uh, Tonari no Seki-kun, or My Neighbor Seki, Volumes 1 and 2, Mysterious Girlfriend X, uh, Omnibus 1, that's first two volumes, and moving on to the next shelf, behind this big old Doraemon plushie, we got <coughs> Neon Genesis Evangelion, Volumes 1 through 9, first three, three and one Omnibus volumes, Need to do my ordinary life volumes one through five and seven and eight. Not lives volumes one through five. Nurse Hitomi's Monster Infirmary volume one. Occultic nine volume one. Oh my goddess omnibus book one. That's I'm pretty sure that's the first three volumes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure for this. I mean these releases they're putting them. They're doing three volumes per book. One Punch Man, Volumes 1 through 3, and 9 and 10. 
Princess Jellyfish Volume 1. I'm pretty sure that's a 2-in-1 omnibus. Present School Volume 1. I know that's definitely a 2-in-1 omnibus. Uh, a few Madoka Magica spinoff ma mangas. Uh, Kazumi Magica The Innocent Malice Volumes 1-3. through three, And Madoka Magica Homura's Revenge Volume 1. The first volume... For the, I mean, the first light novel volume for ReZero, Sun Korea Volume 1, School Live Volume 1, Seraph of the End vo Volumes 1 through 3, Shaman King Volumes 1 and 2, and then down here, Volumes 3 through 8, Soul Eater Knot Volume 1. Sunshine Sketch, or if you're more familiar with the Japanese name, Hidamari Sketch, Volume 1, The Empty Box, and Zeroth Maria, Volume 1, pretty sure I pronounced that one right, Seven Deadly Sins, Volumes 1 and 2, I think that's on its final arc right now, or it's pretty close to ending, Tokyo Ghoul, Volumes 1 through 3, let move this big hat. <laughs> Torco, Volumes 1 through 4. Kind of wish the ending wasn't rushed. UQ Holder, Volumes 1 through 3. Venus vs. Virus, Omnibus Collection 1, Volumes 1 through 3. World Trigger, Volumes 1 through 13. And Yotsuba, or Yotsubato, Volumes 1 through 2, 1, 2, and 6 through 8. And then down here is the recently released th uh, Akira 35th Anniversary box set. I did an unboxing video for that, so if you want to see what comes with it, uh, feel free to take a look at that. But it's six volumes and an art book, essentially. Well, not so much an art book, uh, but I... Uh, let's just call it an art, an art book. <laughs> Alright, moving on to this bookcase. Everything on this one, I just get volumes for whenever I find them or whatever, because I buy a lot of used manga from secondhand stores and on eBay. And these ones I just work on whenever I feel like it or whenever I get a chance to get more volumes. So, yeah, let's... It, oh, oh, I should mention, uh, the O-ring might seem a bit wonky on this one, but that's because I have everything alphabetized by publisher, and then, again, alphabetized by imprint. That, that one's specifically for, uh, the Fizz Media stuff. So, uh, anyways, well... Cromarty High School, Volumes 1, 3, 9, and 12. Erica 7, Gravity Boys and Lifting Girl, Volume 1. Gurren Lagan, Volume 1. Kanagi and Crazy Shrine Maidens, Volumes 1 and 2. Lucky Star, Volume 1. Berserk, Volumes 1 and 6. Blood Plus, Volume 1. Blood Blockade Battlefront, Volume 1. Gunsmith Cats, Revised, Revised Edition, Volume 1, I think that's two volumes in one. I'm not actually sure. Shadow Star, Volumes 1 through 3. Though I prefer the original name, Narutaru. Translucent, Volume 1. Trigon, Volumes 1 and 2. And Trigon Maximum Omnibus 1. That's pretty sure that one's three volumes, from what I remember. Air Gear, Volume 1. Negima Volumes 1 through 3. No Dami Katabile Volumes 1 and 2. Sayonar Zetsubu Sensei Volume 1. School Rumble Volumes 1 through 4. Devil Survivor Volume 1. Pretty good game. That That's based on. Shugo Chara Volume 1. Uh, Certain Scientific Railgun Volumes 1 through 4. Akuma no Riddle Volume 1, Defrag Volume 1, and Senran Kakar Scaring Shadows Volumes 1 and 2. 
Okay, down here we got Beat the Vandal Buster, Volumes 1 through 6. Black Cat, Volumes 1 and 2. Bleach, Volumes 1 through 5. Two volumes of Boa Bo. Apparently this is Volume 11 in the Japanese release, but... Um, I think Viz didn't want to really release anything before it, besides this volume due to content or something. I forget the exact reason, but it was something along those lines. Uh, anyways, uh, Dr. Slump, Volumes 1 through 3. Hikaru no Go, Volume 1. Oh, excuse me. Knights of the Zodiac, or... Saint Seiya, if you're more familiar with that name, Volume 1. Nisekoi False Love, Volumes 1 and 2. Noah Rise of the Yokai Clan, Volumes 1 and 2. Takami Bachi, Letter B, Volumes 1 and 2. Yu Yu Hakusho, Volumes 1 through 5 and 11. Yu Gi Oh, Volumes 1 and 2, that's the original series. Blue Exorcist, Volume 1. D. Gray Man Volumes 1 through 4, I Shield 21 Volume 1, and then over here we got I Shield 21 Volumes 2 through 7, Volume 10, 11, 12, 18, and 19, Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma Volumes 1 and 2, Gintama Volume 1. Uh, moving down to this shelf. Uh, volumes 1 through 3, 5 and 6, and 12 through 15 of Eyes. I still can't get over the fact that the guy that did this ended up doing Zetman. Quite the contrast, if I do say so myself. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders, Volume 1, that's just Volume 1 of Part 3. Kurohime, Volume 1. Katekeo Hitman Reborn. Volumes 2 through 4 and 6 through 10. Rosario Vampire Volumes 1 and 2. Strawberry 100% Volumes 1 and 2. Beyblade Volumes 1 through 3. And that's the original manga. I'm pretty sure the manga came first. Excel Saga Volumes 1 and 2. Flame of Rekka Volumes 1 and 2. Hide and Closer Volume 1. Kakashi Volumes 1 through 6. Midori Days Volume 1. Ranma Half Volumes 1 and 2. It's an omnibus. Uh, Renne Volumes 1 and 2. Shakugan no Shana Volume 2. Train Man and Show Toko Volume 1. Nana Volume 1. 20th Century Boys Volumes 2 and 8. Black Lagoon Volume 1. Biomega Volume 1. Uh, DG Charat Volumes 1 and 2, and Digico's Champion Cup Theater. I think it's an anthology manga. Not actually sure on that. Going down to the next shelf. Bokurano Volumes 3 and 6. Eat Man Volume 1. That That is Volume 1. Even though it doesn't say Volume 1 on it, that's definitely the first volume for Eat Man. Tenjo Tenge Full Contact Edition 2 and 1 Volume 1. Two volumes. Moving on to the Vizbig volumes I have. Dragon Ball Vizbig Volume 5. That's the last four volumes for uh, Dragon Ball, at least for the English release. Dragon Ball Z Vizbig Volume 1, it's first three volumes for what's considered Dragon Ball Z, even though in Japan the whole manga, all 42 volumes, is just Dragon Ball. Roroni Kenshin Vizbig Volumes 1 and 2, that's Volumes 1 through 6. <laughs> Alicino Volume 1, Back of Mongolian Chop Squad Volume 1, Grenadier Volume 1 and 2. Rave Master, Volume 1. Scrapped Princess, A Tale of Destiny. I don't know if that's the only light novel volume, or if there's more than that, but I know it's originally a light novel series. Or, I mean, I know the series started as a light novel. Scrapped Princess, Volumes 1 and 2. Knights of Sidonia, Volume 1. Kame Got Kill, Volume 1. Bamboo Blade, Volume 1. Black Butler, Volumes 1 and 2. 
The Ra 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 Volume 1. That's the manga adaptation. Is this a Zombie Volume 1? The Barito O Volume 1? Soul Eater Volumes 1 and 2? Mm. Spice and Wolf Volume 1 of the manga adaptation. So Mo 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 Volume 1. That's the first series by the lady that did Magi. I should mention. Tenna on S String Volume 1. And Triage X Volume 1. And then down here, there's a bunch of Shonen Jump issues from 2011 and 2012. Uh, along with a bunch of strategy guides for games. So, that's that bookcase. Moving on. This is my... What I like to refer to as the completed bookcase, with an exception or two. I'll point it out when I get to it, maybe. So anything that I finish, I move over to this bookcase. And, uh, yeah, I'm starting to run out of space on this one. <laughs> Come on, focus. There we go. Anyways, first stop, 5 centimeters per second, I'm pretty sure... The manga version of it, it's two volumes. That's why it's two volumes big. Um, let, me, let me move this. A Silent Voice Volumes 1 through 7. They just put out a box set for this manga earlier this month. The, I think uh, on December 19th. Uh, next up, the manga adaptation of Gunbuster Volumes 1 through 5. The Interqual manga for Gunbuster and Divebuster, uh, Top One Air Eye, or Aim for the Top, Next Generation, Volumes 1 and 2. And the Divebuster manga adaptation, that's just one volume. Over here, we've got All You Need Is Kill, that's a two-in-one volume. As the manga Dio Omnibus, that's all four volumes. Barrage, Volumes 1 and 2, that's the previous series by the guy that did, I mean, the, no... That's a previous series by the guy that does My Hero Academia. Black Rock Chan. That's a tall volume. And over here, we got volumes 1 through 16 of Bimbo Gami Ga or Good Luck Girl, according to the English name for the anime. Though I, I think that's a mostly accurate translation for the name. I'm not actually sure. Still waiting for this to get an English release. <coughs> And over here we got volumes 1 through 10 of Busto Rink. And this one's definitely underrated in my honest opinion. Because I don't see anybody that has it in their collections. But due to the recent allegations that happened with uh, Nobu Hirowatsuki, I don't think anyone's going to want to check it out. Because of that. I mean, I completely understand. But... And pretty underrated series, disregarding the stuff that happened with him recently. <laughs> Moving on to this shelf, we got two omnibus volumes for Chobits, so it's volumes one through eight. <laughs> Hisasi's cute devil girlfriend, but I'm not pulling this out for reasons. Don't want this video getting flagged. Dead Man Wonderland Volumes 1 through 13. Hayraka 7 Volumes 1 through 3. And then this Omnibus Volume is Volumes 4 through 6. Final Fantasy 13 Episode 1. I wasn't sure where else to put that, so I just kept it over here. Since I don't have the rest of the Final Fantasy 13 light novels. Fooly Cooly Volumes 1 and 2, and then the Omnibus re-release that Dark Horse did. Uh, Hollow Fields, the complete collection, that's three volumes. Uh, Hollow Fields and the Perfect Cog, I think that's a sequel. Jocko, the Galactic Patrolman, that's just one volume. And it's also a prequel of sorts to Dragon Ball, so that's cool. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Part 1, Volumes 1 through 3. Even though Part 1 is actually 5 volumes, they just managed to fit all 5 into 3 of these big hardback volumes. Oh, shit. Ah, damn it. 
Junji Ito's Cat Diary, Yon and Moo, Kaon Volumes 1 through 4, Kaon College and Kaon High School. Uh, moving on, Kanari Kano Volumes 1 through 19, and then 20 and 21. Hoping that gets a re-release or someone picks up the license so more people can go check it out. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Volumes 1 through 4, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Volumes 1 and 2, and Kingdom Hearts 2 Volumes 1 and 2. This was the, uh, this was one of the, uh, exceptions I mentioned because while it has gotten a, uh, while they have gotten re-released by Yen Press, I haven't had a chance to pick them up. And, uh, technically the Tokyo Pop print for the Kingdom Hearts 2 manga never was finished because they ended up going out of business or whatever back then. But that's, that's the point. Kill a Kill Volumes 1 through 3, I think it only covers up to episode 13. So, it doesn't even cover the entirety of the anime, or whatever. Legends, with a Z, Volumes 1 through 4. If they add a Z at the end, that means it's serious business. This is a, uh, I forget the exact name, but it's a Victory Gundam, sp no, it's, it's two, <coughs> two different Gundam mangas put into one compilation volume the first one is a victory gundam side story and the second one deals with edeon showing up and uh it more or less connects that anime with gundam so that's pretty cool that's the main reason i picked that one up anyways Muyon Roji's Bureau of Supernatural Investigation, Volumes 1 through 18. I just recently did a video on this one. Really underrated series. I rarely see people talk about it, and I hope that more people do go check it out. And yeah, that would be pretty cool. Uh, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. This is a box set. Let me. Uh, pull this out here's the two volumes in this box set front this also comes with a double-sided poster and i sometimes see it go for under 40 between 30 and 40 uh no no let me let me do it in order uh nora the last chronicle of devildom volumes one through nine still waiting for the sequel series to get an english release Painting and Stocking with Garter Belt. That's just one volume. Parasite Volumes 1 through 8. And then moving up here, we got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Genji's Rescue Team, and Portis. I also have these, uh, these somewhat out of print Ursa Yatsura comic books that Viz. Published back in like the 90s or whenever they were releasing manga in this format mm -hmm. on a uh, monthly basis, and they would only do like two chapters per issue. So, uh, yeah, I think this is one of the few Rumiko Takahashi mangas that hasn't gotten a re release in English. Yet, at least once uh, manga started becoming uh, more serious or a serious business or something over here, or like when it was uh, more commonly found. Anyways, uh, Siren Volumes 1 through 16. The manga adaptation for Madoka Magica Volumes 1 through 3. And Madoka Magica The Different Story Volumes 1 through 3. That one's based on a drama CD. Raw Grad Volumes. Oh, sorry. 
volumes one through four. Psychono volumes one through seven. Saitama Chainsaw Shoujo. Let me pull it out. Really hoping this gets an English release at some point. Anyways. Sandland. That's just one volume. Steins Gate volumes one through three. I just did a video on three different versions of Steins Gate. Or comparing the three different versions I own. Future Strike Witches mangas. First up, uh, Strike Witches Maidens in the Sky, Volumes 1 and 2, The Sky That Connects Us, that's just one volume, 1937 Fuso Sea Incident, Volumes 1 and 2, and One Winged Witches, Volumes 1 and 2. So, uh, I think they still got, like, two more Strike Witches mangas to give an English release. As far as I'm aware, Super Mario Adventures. This is a reprint. It's it, it was originally out of print for like 20 years, and they finally re reprinted it last year. So I'm glad that I got to replace it because it was one of the first manga that I bought as a kid. Though I didn't know it was manga until a few years ago. <laughs> the Gods Lie. That's one volume. Tony Takazaki's Neon Genesis Evangelion. That's a gag manga, but with Evangelion. So if you like Ava, then definitely check out this one. Twin Spica, or Twin Spica? I think it's Spica. Volumes 1 through 12. It's actually 15 volumes, it's just for the physical release. They bundled volumes together, which is why we got 12 instead of 15. It's 15 for the digital uh, version. Going by what I've seen. But the the physical copies are out of print. It's last I checked. So, uh, yeah. Wolf Children, Ame and Yuki. Uh, Zero's Familiar, Volumes 1 through 7. I think that's the first manga adaptation. I don't know if we... I mean, I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten the light novels in English yet. And here's some comics, or comic books or whatever. We've got Bone, one volume edition. Uh, I got a regular show. I mean, a volume of regular show... Uh, Spawn Origins Collection Volume 1, that's just first six issues, and we got this, uh, the first issue, f I mean, first volume for Transmetropolitan, that's the first six issues of that comic book, or graphic novel? I think it's one or the other. And lastly, we got my One Piece shelf. I know it's technically not a shelf since it's a little tower thing but I just think saying shelf sounds a lot better than saying tower something anyways uh, volumes 1 through 26 on that shelf Volumes 27 through 51 on the shelf. Down here we got volumes 52 through 58. And on this side we got volumes 59 through 65 and then lastly I'm missing about 11 volumes but we got volume 66 67 78 through 81 and then 82 through 84 and on this shelf I have all the One Piece games I own at least physical copies for 
down here next to the DVDs for the anime that I own. And I also got the most recent movie, One Piece Film Gold. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, the only reason I got those down there is because I like having all the stuff together. Even though I got the rest of my anime on a completely different shelf, I might do an update collection video for that soon. Hopefully, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, that's my collection. Uh, I'll probably do another one of these at the end of 2018. Uh, if you want to know my thoughts on stuff that I showed in the video, oh, feel free to drop a comment. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video, whenever that is. And have a safe and good new year. Uh, have a great 2018 or whatever. All right, see you.